Hi, I'm Local Mama. Welcome to the 12 Days of Christmas Day. What the hell day is it? Oh yeah, day six. As you can see, I'm not in the kitchen no more. I'm back here in Santa's workshop, which means we're going to make another craft. And today I'm going to teach you how to make a candy cane Christmas tree. All you're going to need is some miniature candy canes, dollar store. I bought two boxes. There's 32 a box, but I bought two boxes to be safe. You're going to need a little foam cone. You're going to need a, a Christmas ball or two. And of course, your hot glue gun. Now, the one thing about these damn canes, they come individually wrapped up. So you got to sit there and cut them all out of the damn wrapper. I did that earlier. This is how it goes. You're going to take a candy cane. You're going to put a little strip of glue right along the back side of it like this. And you're going to stick it on your tree. Straight up and down, flush with the ground. Just like that. Now what we're going to do is about every inch or so, maybe less, you know I told you I was bad with inches. You're going to keep doing this, put another one a little bit, like let's say there. You don't have to be perfect like I told you before. And we're just going to go all around the base of it. I'll be back in a second to show you the next step. Okay, there we got our first row all glued on. You can tell already this is going to be a cute little idea. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do a second row and we're going to put them so that the curve of the candy cane starts right about at the top of the candy cane below it. See what I'm talking about? Everybody see this? It's going to be very easy. And you put them right in the middle of the ones that you just glued on. And we're just going to tear them up until we hit the top. We're going to do it just like that all the way up. See? So that would be where your second one would go. Alright, let me do this row and I'll be right back. There we go. Row two. You see how cute this is getting? Now you're just going to do two more rows on there and I'll be back to show you how to finish her off. You know, thinking about Christmas reminds me of that news story. Y'all hear about that little black girl in the news that made a big kerfuffle because she decided all of a sudden that she don't think Sandy Claus should be white no more? Then I guess she caught herself in the middle of it and thought, oh, now what I do? Then she said, yeah, no, I don't think he should be white. I think he should be a penguin. And what the hell is that all about? You tell me. How the hell is a penguin going to deliver Christmas presents when everybody knows a penguin can't even fly? Go figure that one out. And there we are. Look at that. Just look how cute this is. All right. Now what we are going to do is we are just going to take a pot cleaner, or as I call them, a paper clip in my last video. We're going to stick it in one of the little areas here, right up at the top, right? Stick it right in that foam. And then we're going to wrap this around the top just to finish it off a little bit. Just make it look pretty. And then when you come to another end, Fold that in, stick it right there in the foam again. Just like that, but we ain't done yet, oh no. Now, just take a Christmas ball, any color you like, it don't matter. I'm just gonna take a blue one here, and I left a little ring here on it, and you're gonna stick that right in the top, but put a little dab of glue on there too. Make sure it ain't gonna come out. Yeah, you know I love my glue gun. Just going to stick that right into the foam, like that. Hold her down for a minute, make sure she's nice and secure. Ooh, this one don't want to stick for shit. Oh, sorry. Oh, I wanted to thank y'all for the beautiful comments I have been getting on these videos. You all are just too kind. But I must remember, a lot of people have said that they're watching these videos with their children. So I need to um, watch my language a little bit, I guess. I will try, I will try. And there we go. Now, what we're gonna do is we are gonna place this on a base. What I did was, I took a little bit of that floral foam. I showed you how to do this the other day. I'm not gonna say it again because I know you're not slow and if you are, you shouldn't even be handling a glue gun. You're gonna take a little bit of uh, the florist foam, your little spray adhesive and your fake snow and you're gonna make a little block like this. Then you are gonna just take your glue gun, put a dab of glue right there 
and set your tree down in the middle of it. Just like that. And then you got yourself a little base. Now, if you want to, you could actually add little ornaments onto this, or you could take your spray adhesive and your foam, and you could spray a little bit over, the, uh, not your foam, uh, your, uh, your fake snow. You could spray a little bit of adhesive over it and uh, put some fake snow on it and then make it look like it just snowed in the forest. That could be real pretty too. But anyway, here's another cute little idea. I hope you like it. I hope you try it at home. All right, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Tomorrow we're gonna make something super easy you could do in two minutes. I swear to God, I am not even lying. Okay, I'll talk to y'all then. Psh, thanks for watching. Psh. I mean, there we go. That is just adorable, ain't it? I, whoa! <laughs> there. And there we go. Now that is just adorable, isn't it? I would be proud to set that anywhere.